Groundhog Day as well. You will notice the name of the Jeep is Rubicon. A Rubicon is a boundary in which, once it has been crossed, commits a person to their action irrevocably. The point of no return. Finally, some of the interpretation is coming to light. The dream about the bathroom where people who left the bathroom and watched the parade were ushered into a shape, a hexagonal shape, the back of the shape, where the front exit opened and they were shuffling forward. In my dream I had seen something on the internet and I had a sense of dread. Oh, it was overwhelming. And this is what it is. It's a point of no return. That's where the people were going. It is the cross of the Rubicon. <laughs> and the Lord has that in my testimony because in Christchurch, New Zealand, we have a truther. He's not a Christian. He speaks about immigration, our communist government, Jacinda, and the, even the um, event that happened in Christchurch with the terrorist, which was a kickoff event that brought a lot of, well, much of the gun confiscation and Lack of freedoms on YouTube. So this man has has an English background, and his channel was called Cross of the Rubicon. I always intended on googling it to find out what it meant. Most recently, New Year, he was taken off YouTube and put in the sin bin, and now all he has available to him to speak the truth his truth, which he has a freedom to share, is, um, is it the Spotify um, mp3 type um, shows, so just um, verbal, so that's the cross of the Rubicon, <laughs> from Christ Church, what I sensed was this point of no return. Now you must remember in the dream there was a sound that stopped and suddenly people came out of this hypnotic trance. They stopped moving forward and then they all returned to their bathroom. It was a false flag. I, I believe we're coming to the time where it will not be a false flag. I know we are. I'm just going to move forward to 26. I'm going to link this for you. 26 minutes, I think it is. Well, it looks a bit tricky to find 26 minutes. Yeah, we've got to go back. This is about Obama. I try and keep it um, to essentially to how the Lord is speaking to me, how we met interpret the dream that he gave me. Of the square and compass in Freemasonry. Bunchy is shown in Chicago next. Chicago points us to Obama once again. Their team logo is the Bears, which is a reference to the Antichrist, who has the feet of a bear, found in Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. You may remember Obama proclaimed the bear is loose while walking in Washington. 
DC. Right. So my my dream that I've uploaded, which I'll link, was a bear and it was moving and the word the Lord was it was moving up and down. It was upside down and the Lord gave me the word the bear is moving. And then when I woke straight out of that dream I had closed eye vision I saw two things and I've shared that I saw the four kings dressed in royal robes similar to what Santa would wear with a white trim one was talking the four of them got on on their horses and rode fast I could tell they were moving fast like thunder because Instead of seeing wind, I saw flames coming from their heads and looking into the flames, I saw fiery foxes. I'm, I'm taking a guess that it's the foxes we see in scripture. But we'll see where the Lord takes me. Then I saw, and this was in colour, with my eyes closed, which is very rare, these a fluffy paw went on this dirt road and then the second paw and my vision was on the paws and they were moving forward and at some stage I believe I saw the bear's back and it was going up a dirt track around a corner it was coming around the corner so the words the Lord gave me was the bear is moving it is coming around the corner and I felt like there was the civilized world on the other side, you know, where you drive into a city and you suddenly see the lights. It was, but it wasn't night, but that is the corner he is coming around. Now I know scripture, I have read scripture, but when you know when the Lord drops it on into your spirit, you know. Now, as far as I had got, construction site where the charges move impediments, as far as I had got as far as interpreting it was the Lord had showed me um, Obama's tweets and that his Twitter is that he is the bear and that he normally does the mauling and his time with bear grills and his tweets about bears and then I was reminded that he said at the White House that statement which I just linked but the Lord is only, it's like he blinds your eyes until the right time. The time is now to tell you this. It's time. That's why I know about the cross of the Rubicon. What there, it's not going to be a false flag. What happens next will not be a false flag. It will not be, it'll be a point of no return, the cross of the Rubicon. This Which is a, is a reference to the Antichrist, who has the feet of a bear, found in Revelation chapter 13, That's why it was, verse 2. It was so hard for me to share that word, but I did it in faith because I've always thought the bear was Russia. But it's the Antichrist of feet in Revelations 2, the bear, the Antichrist. Obama is the Antichrist. I just want to share one more thing. Now, I have heard Click mention this, but I've been praying today, and I asked the Lord for a scripture. And he said to me, and I'm not a big, I'm not a big Bible reader, I'm sorry. I'm not. I, you know, I'm going to be honest. It's not what qualifies you. It's your rapport with the Lord that qualifies you. It's your relationship. But I do read it and I do know it and I'm aware that I've read through it at least. Everything's familiar, but not everything is quickened. Not every, not every word is for everyone. And that's the mistake we made, we make. Not everyone is called to what the Lord just showed me. Click has been shown it. 
He told me to go to Ezekiel 3. I had no idea what I would find and you may be familiar with the chapter. It is about bringing the word of the Lord. I'm not going to read it. It's for me. But anyone who knows the scripture knows that it's a serious message. And it's a serious call that the Lord has never given me other than the fact that I know I have a message. That I carry. That I'm waiting for. I tell you what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for this. I'm looking for a bit. It's where the spirit, here it is. <clears throat> then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of Sheba, and I fell on my face. Then the spirit entered me, entered into me. And set me upon my feet. That's a supernatural setting upon your feet. The spirit moved him physically. And he spake to me and said unto me, Go, shut thyself within thy house. To the core messages that I did this morning, <coughs> um, I thank the com commenter for um, inviting me to sort of like a chat room for the Church of Philadelphia and, you know, fellowship, which most believers can enjoy, but I sense the Lord wasn't allowing me to do it. I keep, I'm always going to be shaking cages. And now the Lord's confirmed it with this chapter. So the time is now and my call is close to coming to pass and I, I, I would believe that the Lord would be doing that for a lot of um, his chosen ones. So seek the Lord as I did today and he gave me the scripture and he shifted me forward and he's confirmed two dreams. Bless you.